did they say before? Shh. We're on. Don't tell them what we were talking about. I won't. <laughs> Mom's the first. Happy Friday, everybody. Oh, my goodness. What a crazy, crazy day. Crazy, crazy, busy, busy week. What's everybody up to today? I know for some, Shh. since we Whoa. live here in don't Tarpon, Tarpon Springs, it is east. Uh, it's, I don't know if they say east or west, but I know because of the Greek population, it's the Orthodox Easter. This has been Holy Week, so this is Easter for mm -hmm. all of our Greek friends in um, Tarpon Springs. Um, Pam, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but we do need to wish um, Jessica and Ryan, Jessica, I want one of everything, a happy anniversary today. Oh, I don't today have it. I will put anniversary. it. Ah, uh, it will yes. be on my calendar. So I yes. everybody. Oh, look at all that those hearts. Yes, we've got all, all of those hearts. And do you have something for us today? Today is National... Jelly Bean Day. Oh, Jelly Bean Day, but it's oh, yes. okay. You do the jelly beans, yeah. but it's also Earth Day. Oh yes, 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 Earth Day. And I was looking out my window and I saw the trees that are coming out with the leaves and that beautiful blue sky. And I just had to thank God for that because I just thought it was beautiful. So, anyways, let's talk Doritos. You know oh, excuse, excuse me. Jessica just corrected me. It's not her wedding anniversary. It's their anniversary of their first date. Oh, then I'll erase it. <laughs> it's a good thing that was in pencil. We only want the official. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, Doritos, um, I, that's like one of my weaknesses, um, kind of like glazed potato chips. You can't eat just one, or at least I can't. So anyways, do you know what the word Doritos means? Okay. Well, in Spanish, Doritos means little golden things, but there was a gentleman. Oh, Bob was using my phone and he just took it off. Uh, <laughs> Okay, up oh, here we go. Um, nope, that's not it. Okay, <laughs> let, me try, let me try and remember this. Mike sent that thing about camping, and I said, check my phone, and he took it, and I had stuff on it. It's gone. Anyways, uh, let's see. Oh no, I can't do this from I can't do this from memory. Okay, um, do you want to go ahead and look it up, and we'll just go on and do something else and come back. I tell you what, I can do that. I'll do this um, one day next week. But I do know that there was a gentleman that took the name, took um, uh, like a Spanish word and uh, kind of combined it and put a D on it and made his own twist. And if I could remember it, but anyways, I will come back with that next what Thursday or something like that. I'll, I'll do that because Doritos have been around since like 1966. They said it was like 58 years ago. I will tell you this, that when um, the uh, first Doritos for the first year were just plain. Okay. There, there was no uh, seasoning or anything on it. And then they added that, what they called that neon orange uh, powder. And I believe when I was reading, there is, you cannot find, I think it was Cool Ranch outside the country. So maybe that's just the United States thing. I don't know. But anyways, I will come back. I apologize. <laughs> I was in the middle of doing something and I said, Bob, get that, that email from Mike. And, and he did. And then it's there. I just don't want to take time to try and find it and have dead air space. It's so, anyway, so you all have a great rest of your Friday. I'm going to click off so that then I can um, uh, hook back up and, and actually see live without seeing my face. So you all have a great oh, it's weekend. A, it's a pretty face. <laughs> If you have any birthdays, if you have any anniversaries, please let me know because I do have my pencil and my calendar and I will gladly write them down. Pam out. Yeah, Pam doesn't like to have empty pages on her calendar. I think her goal is to have at least 365 um, days filled <laughs> up with something, either national well, day look or... At, look at this. This is no sewing classes either. It's like... 
I have no sewing classes for two weeks. Okay. <laughs> now, do I have other projects? Yes. But schedule classes now, it's like, oh my gosh, that's really uh, Yes, you should. <laughs> and if you don't, you best. Because Tuesday the 26th is our new dime, our free the dime, dime thing. Yeah. Okay. You need okay. that on everybody's calendar. That is going to be a great event. It's beyond monograms. Oh, Jessica says July 22nd is their wedding anniversary. Got it, Jessica. See okay. you guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay, let's see. She finished that. Let me see if I... How do I get rid of her? Ooh. Okay, we left her go too quick and... Let me see. Take her out. There we go. There we go. Um, yes, Tuesday at noon is our new dime event. It's beyond monograms. So it's not just your traditional monograms. It's going to be really, really cool stuff, guys. Get in there. You need to come to that class because it's free. I guarantee you, you're going to learn something. Um, and they will always have specials and promotions and things like that. So if there are dime products that you're looking for and thinking about, well, Tuesday's going to be the day. Tuesday will be the day that um, they'll have their promotions and you'll be able to um, order those uh, labels and threads and different things. I don't know what they're putting on, but you do get a free um, frame, uh, an embroidery frame, monogramming frame. So you're going to get a design just by attending. So I will be there, Huggy Bear will be there, and I hope to see most of the rest of you and your friends. Yes, tell all of your friends. Um, I got to show this to you because I did have fun with it. Um, I showed you this earlier in the, um, I don't know, last week or another week. This is a fabric that we have. Now this particular one I have in two ways. One, just like this with fabric, I also have it with the vinyl coating. So the vinyl coating um, is where you can actually color on it, okay? So you can color it and be able to then erase it. This is more permanent and you can use your um, coloring from Dime, your coloring marking pens. They look like markers. They're uh, in a little package. Let me see, I've got, I can kind of show you. They're um, fiber markers, 20 permanent colors with two millimeter tip fiber markers. And you can take all of these wonderful, look at those colors. I love the colors. And I kind of got carried away with the coloring, but you can color your fabric. I will tell you the other thing, they are fantastic tools to have if you ever had an embroidery design or something where it's kind of pulled up the thread or your bottom thread is shown on regular sewing or anything and you don't want to tear it out or redo it, you can use those. That's much better than using a permanent marker because a permanent marker may run and it will fade. These are color fast and will stay in. So we're doing our um, License to Create, the Embellish License to Create Spring Break. Come on, guys. I have eight kits left out of 25. Eight spots. That's it. They all have ev almost everything that you need. And when I say almost, I mean almost everything. Um, the ones I package, they have fabric. They have, um, there's lace in there. There's ribbon. There's all that kind of stuff, as well as, um, the embellished portion of it has all of your stabilizers and stuff. So you guys have seen some of those um, pictures. So this is one of the projects. This is actually the one we're going to make on Wednesday. There's videos. There's the files. You'll be able to make multiples of the same thing if you want to. Um, you'll have everything in there pretty much um, for your uh, in your kit to make one of everything. Then you can make more because you're going to learn how. There's the videos from... Um, Paula Bromwell and I have it on good authority that if she's available she's gonna pop in and visit with us so this is this is going to be our first project and this is the little tea purse tea bag purse and it's called that because you can put your little tea bags in it so it's a great little um, great little gift 
I think it'd be a great little boutique gift. It's got the little tea tag on it. So that's going to be the first project. Then I was playing around yesterday getting ready and look at this. You know, I went out in the front yard and found a stick. We all have sticks in our yard. And I'm going to sew a little thing on the top there to hang him up. They fold over in the back so you could put little gifts or little notion, uh, little notes, inspiration note in there, but look at that. And if you look at my owl, he has lace and ribbon. Also, that is this fabric right here, okay? I colored some of it in, look at that. So you can color it as much as you want to. And that's, you know, that's, um, that's what I did with this. So that's a really cool, fun, fun thing to do. Okay, um, and on Paula's, because um, I watched her, her classes, this is, I gotta show this to you because I just know that they came in and it is um, first project. Yes, I know, Duani. Somehow I knew that that's what you needed it for. Yeah, with Mother's Day coming, I thought that would be the best first project because this is perfect for Mother's Day. Put some tea in it, put in, um, you could put a little pair of earrings or a little bracelet or, you know, those kind of things. But if you put tea, a little gift card, or maybe a little chocolate or a biscuit, you know, any of those things. And that's all made in the hoop except for the handle. And that's the only thing that I actually have to still stitch. I don't have, I don't have the handle stitched down yet or tacked in. But what I want to show you, the little gadget of the day is, take a look at this. This is the pin tin. Okay, yeah, it's a pin tin, so what? Um, doesn't look too impressive. Comes with 100 glass head pins. Okay, I got pins. What do I need this for? Well, let me tell you. When you're taking, you've got your project and you've got it pinned, you're at your machine and you're pulling the pins out. Well, you know, you pull the pin out. Now what do I do with it? I have to stick it in a pin cushion? Oh, no. If you have this setting down just in front of your machine, you just drop it. Look at that. You just drop the pins and they go right in the tin. Oh yeah. We have those on the website at the store, minus one, because I just brought it home. So we got, yeah, we're got, we've got to have this. Alrighty, so what I wanted to share with you today, we've got what's going on, we know what's going on next week, then of course we get into May, and the reason I am late is Mike sends me a message and you know, I've got all of the kits cut out for our table runner next week, and he says, oh, you need, I don't know, three or four more. So I have to go back and cut some more, so I had to go get the fabric, so that's why I was over shopping for fabric. Okay, so what I want to show you, I'm going to show you today, is Dimes Magnetic Hoop Clip. What's cool about this is if you've got a magnetic hoop from Dime, you can use this to stitch a hat on your embroidery machines. Now, I wouldn't recommend it if you've got a big team and you're doing 20 or 30 hats, but you know, Father's Day, birthdays, just because whatever, you want to do a hat. Well, this comes with a hat sample, and this is what, let me see here, it looks like, whoa, there we go. Got a couple things to show you with that. So we are going to start, we've got that. This is what the clip looks like. It's magnetic, so it works with your magnetic hoop, which I'm gonna show you that in a minute. But before we get that, to that point, I want to show you, this is um, dime sticky hoops. They come in four by four, this is a five by seven, six by 10. The sticky goes right on the back of the hoop. This is kind of like your magnetic hoop, half of it without the magnet part, um, but you don't want to use your magnetic hoop to do this because you'll ruin the backing on it. So, it comes with a pack of um, pre-cut. This is the pre-cut, and then you can buy them separately. 
So when you're doing these projects and you don't want to have to hoop them, you don't want to have to make a mess, this is what this is the sticky. All we have to do is peel this off and throw it away. We lay the hoop down. I guess I really shouldn't lay it down on top of my Duke bill. Okay. And then I'm just going to take this like this and stick it. it. Sticks right there. Okay. Just like that. Now what I usually do is when I turn it over, I'll lay my wax paper down again and rub it on the table so that I make sure it's nice and stuck to the the metal. But there it is. My it's hooped. I'm ready to ready to stitch. So we really like these. They are now coming out, or have come out with, because um, this is a tear away, this tears away when you're done. Water soluble. So they just came out with it. They'll be in the shop next week. I think Mike already has them in the system if you want to be the first ones to snag them. They're um, sticky back pre-cuts in the 4x4, 5x7, 6x10. Um, already to, ready to go. So once we've got, we've got the hoop, We've got that stuff on there. We've got the magnetic hoop. So it just, there it is. That's it. I can use my sticky back hoop. Now becomes a hat hoop with that little attachment. And these things are only 30, what is it? $39, 39, something like that. So for less than $40, um, you don't have to have a special hoop. So use your magnetics and if you don't have one or your sticky hoop we can hook you up all right so we're going to put that on there you do want to make sure you've got it centered then we take our hoop and we mark it if you've got the machines that um, use the placement or the snowman sticker awesome you just put the sticker on and we know how to do that if you don't there is um, you can get the little um, stickers to put on the centering stickers so once I get it on there, okay, this is the clip. I'm going to stick the bill of the hat up there. Okay. Now I would unhook this back here because that just lets it lay flatter. So I would definitely just um, unhook the back. That's ouch. That's all I'm doing is just just like this because then I can lay it down flatter. Okay. And then we're just going to lay this down flat. Okay. You'll get your design. You just lay this whole thing flat. Okay. There's R and K calling me right now. Hmm. I think they would have to wait for a moment. Okay, I'll have to call them back. Okay. So that's all we have to do is just like this. You can smooth it out. It's now stuck in place. I can take it over and put it in my machine. So let me just go ahead and flip this over so you can see. So then I just take it to my machine. And put it in there, okay? Get your design and whatever. Now you do have to watch it. This is not a hoop that you want to use and hit go and go on a coffee break, okay? You do want to keep your eyes on it and pay attention, but that's how easy it is. Then you can pick a design, you can do a name, you can do whatever, and you've got a hoop that you can use. So I wanted to uh, make sure that I showed that to you. So what is everybody sewing on? This is, what well, if this, um, your, Easter weekend, or if we had Easter weekend last weekend, you know, I have some friends that um, are Greek and down in the, um, the Tarpon Springs, and they enjoy having their holiday the week after ours, they said, because they get all the candy, 75% off. Hmm, is that enough to make you want to convert? <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you have a good weekend. We'll be back Tuesday. Um, we are going to have Tuesday will be late because the event is at noon from 12 to 1 30 but after that we'll pop on and let you know what you missed if you can't be there you'll be able to get the replay 
So um, to try and make a puffy quilt dog bed for my puppers. Yay, that's a great idea, Jessica. Um, I'll tell you, one of the easiest ways to do it is use a pillowcase. You can make a pillowcase and um, put a stuff a pillow in it. I, I had that with um, names on the, um, the band of the, the pillow. Um, and then, there, of course, there's lots of patterns and stuff out there, too. But that's a great idea because they all need their own their own beds and their own spaces, too. Oh, Marilyn's working on spring showers. Yes, great. You're way ahead of me. I don't even have my stuff cut for that. And you know that it's, um, oh, goodness, they just are shipping out the two scoops, the pillow, that you can make a table runner, you can make it into a pillow, into a wall hanging. Um, those have just been shipped and will, um, should be in our shop next week that we'll be able to send them out. I'm not sure about the fabric kits, but we'll get those out, um, out as well. So you guys make it a great day. Go sew something. Remember our random act of kindness or pay it forward or su surprise somebody with, with something this week or this month. That's our challenge for the month. And then we'll come up with something really um, cute and fun. Oh my gosh, look at all those hearts. Ooh, this is cool. You guys make it a great weekend and we will be back and see you next week.